got Nathan on his chief and me on the chief then we're about to go for a ride make sure everything is good and then we're gonna go for a good little ride with me turning around at some point and then Nathan heading back home so let's get to it tour before we head back. Ready? Ready? Kicking in. <laughs> So outside of the mirror loosening up, <laughs> what do you think? It's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't. I don't really have any words. Um, it's comfortable. It fits me well. Sounds good. And the best part is yours. I know. <laughs> Give me a. So I just gave Nathan a tour of the area and he pretty much said his bike is set up perfectly. He has no words to describe how amazing it is. But the best part of course is that, like you said, it's your bike. So yeah, now it's time to get him back so he can pack up. He can head out on his long journey back home. ride on this bike is I guess my first ride in, of the bike in this form but definitely my last ride thank you for letting me ride the bike thank you for giving me the bike <laughs> yeah man so now that we've tested everything we just have one minor thing to do adjust that mirror and then Nathan's gonna put all of his gear on this beautiful bike and then we're gonna ride off with him into then, the sunset uh, into the sunset yes <laughs> towards California <laughs> Now it's time to get a little bit more work done. But you could be like Nathan and win a motorcycle from me and ride around with me and work on your bike with me too. So if you want to, you can head over to my website at brandonpicasso.com and enter to win my V-Rod Muscle. Are you gonna enter? No, he's not gonna enter because he's gonna make sure that he doesn't win it so somebody else can win it. Hey, you never know. But <laughs> you better enter because if you don't, then that means I'm gonna have to ride a V-Rod all the way back to California and that's oh, a little too far. So. That, yeah, that, that, that's really far on the V-Rod. Strap it to the sissy bar, you got a back rest. Especially when you kick your feet out right here. Uh, Cause that seat kind of sits you back just a tad. And yeah, and that works out perfectly for a uh, back rest. These bars though, is, was the wind bending you up any? Uh, you know, I was aware of it, but it definitely, the bars helped break it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I didn't feel too much wind either. Compared to when I had the bars like a lot lower, you had so much more space for the wind to kind of hit you in the face. Yeah. But yeah, the way we had to set it now, it was just like, it was, it was smooth. That color looks so good with the, with the uh, other pieces you've done. But yeah, I actually really like the placement of this. I didn't think I would, but... I 
I told you, we get some of that every now and then. Adds character to the neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> so you got all of your stuff. Bags are full. So what you think? Ready to ride. All right. Let's get suited up, man. I'm going to absolutely miss this bike so much, but what brings me comfort is knowing that the person that owns it now is incredibly happy and they have a huge adventure ahead of them as they make their way back to California. So it's not a, it's not like it's the end of, well, it's the end of the journey for me, but it's the start of a new one for somebody else. So that, that brings me so much comfort. And, uh, yeah. Getting the longest miles ever for you on any motorcycle. This is how you're handling your day. <laughs> Nathan bought me a lunch, some delicious chicken tendies out here at Slim's Chicken. And now we're essentially getting ready to break apart from each other. I'm headed back to Montgomery, and Nathan is headed to Memphis, Tennessee for his stopping point today. So, how you feeling, man? Feeling great. He said he's feeling great, so. Time to gas up, and then we're gonna say our goodbyes and see you later. Give me some love, bro. Uh, Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, man. It was a pleasure to meet you. You be safe. I will. You let me know when you make it. And uh, if you need anything, anything, let me know. All right. All right, brother. Have a good ride. Yeah, man, you too. Let me know when you make it to Memphis. I And just like that, we're back in the garage. Chief is gone. Nathan is on his way back to California. And he's gonna take some time to get to know Chief through the various states on, on his way back. He's not going straight back. So he decided to make an even longer adventure out of it. So on my way back, I was just thinking, like I really just gave somebody a motorcycle and uh, it finally hit me on the way back when I saw him like split off from me and I was like, dude, this is the last time I'm probably gonna see this motorcycle in person. And then when I came here and pulled in, like it's it's not here. So once again, Indian motorcycle has changed somebody's life. He's been wanting an Indian motorcycle since 2016, since he wrote the Scout, and today he got to ride not only 
I guess his second Indian motorcycle, but the one that he actually owns now. And he's on this adventure that many people probably won't get a chance to experience, at least in his way, right? So I'm thankful that I was able to do that for him and I was able to ride with him on his way out. Yeah, this was memorable for me in its own way. So yeah, I hope I can do this for somebody again. This time, I guess next time with a V-Rod. Now I got time for other projects, but if you didn't know, I was, I'm giving away a V-Rod muscle. So if you want to get in on that, you can head over to my website by clicking right here. And also if you want to see everything we did with this Indian Chief up until this point, you can click right here and watch that playlist from the very beginning as well. So as always, thanks for listening to my story. And if you're subscribed, which I hope you are, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.